All right, Scorpio, what's up? Welcome back. We are going to check in with your person who is on your mind, the situation, and their current feelings for you. So let's hop into the reading, starting off with the situation oracle deck. The teddy bear, this, this has been coming up a lot. So I feel like your person is... They have a lot of feelings for you, that's for sure. But they're also wanting to have like more dates with you. They want to cuddle you. They want to have like this Netflix time. Wow. You're one of the few signs that have these type of energies, okay? Soulmate with the teddy bear. Like they want to cuddle you. They want to kind of like sleep with you is what I'm getting, okay? Don't get too detailed on that. But yeah, they just feel like a very strong tie and they want to keep on talking with you. Um, take you out on a date. There might be a lot of FaceTime callings or a lot of voice notes being sent back and forth. So if there has been any delays in that, I do see this person being drawn more to you. They feel like there's this very strong tie here. We do have the girl with the snake. So there might be an ex that could be involved here that could be trying to kind of like sabotage the energies. But I feel like this this tie is too strong all right like someone could be trying to enable this there could be someone that is trying to put a little bit of um yeah look at that someone here on either your end or their end is very bitter is very bitter because they've been left and this is someone that still is obsessed with your person they can't get over the fact that something has ended all right, but that other relationship is over. Whether that was just a date, a fling, someone here is obsessive about this connection. Okay, so yeah, the spirit is saying like, what is dead is dead. There is a painful separation here that someone does need to accept. However, this girl with a snake could be a man with a snake. Whatever it is, is not really accepting the ending. Okay. I strongly feel like in a very obsessive nature here. And your person is like, nope, there are no second chances. I don't want this. I want to grow and I want to move towards Scorpio. So you have a little bit of interference here. Okay, let's see what else. Their feelings for Scorpio, please. Let's get a little bit deeper. Nice. I mean, like, come on. How beautiful is this? Like, nothing can stop this from getting into union. Like, they want to grow with you. This is them wanting to transcend this union. Um, they feel home with you. They feel like there is a positive shift out of the darkness and getting into a more lighter period in their life so you bring in a lot of balance into this person's life and they feel like they can trust you look at that the sun you see that there there are a lot of positive things coming from this individual this may have been a situation that started in autumn one more so if you've been questioning whether they are still talking with someone else or not, I don't think so. I feel like this person fell in love with you very unexpectedly. We got the Ace of Cups, water, that's love with the storm. So your love just came in like a, like a very unexpected, beautiful thing. And if you haven't met this person, this is what is about to happen to you in the next couple of weeks or months. All right, like you, you and this person, you're going to find yourself in a um, in a very loving, harmonious connection. And this unexpected storm could be also connected to that snake, you know, that girl with the snake. However, I feel like love is going to win, you know, like love will conquer it all. Like love is stronger than hate is what I keep on hearing. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, fate. I mean, like, wow, you've got one of the best readings so far. Like, seriously, like these cards have a lot of different meanings, but so far, so good. 
prayer, faith. I mean, like this is God sent, you know, like uh, this person feels like you are God sent to them. Like you bring enlightenment to them. You bring them strength. You, you light up their room. You light up their day. Yeah, they've been in relationships where they had to fake it, like fake it until they make it. And they feel like they can be completely themselves and that's why this is the soulmate because they feel like they can be themselves and they don't like you don't question everything or you don't constantly you know bring up a lot of conflicts is what i feel and this is something that they've been hoping for oh i thought that this was the quest this is destiny like wow wow growth at the bottom of the deck like you both are destined to be in union to be together okay this is like the most <laughs> feels like the most sugar-coated reading i have ever done but i cannot rephrase all these cards right like this is all what's coming through for you it's beautiful look at that the bottom of the deck is the lover's card yeah let's see let me let me Clarify that girl with the snake that is actually already dead and gone. However, she wants to show up or it wants to show up. So there might be a reason for that. Could be a cancer. We got also Aquarius here. What is up with this um, person? Oh, the tower. The tower with the king of pentacles. Like... This person was quite careless, selfish, unreliable, unstable, financially depleting the other person, and it came down to a crash. Like, the tower is here saying, like, it is unrepairable, and they are not accepting this. It's like, this, that connection is completely over. Yeah, it's time for, for them to move on, but they can, because they feel like they are financially dependent on your person, or they... They can't take the fact that they are being rejected, but that relationship is completely over here with the queen of pentacles as well as about at the bottom of the deck. This could be that your person has been in a marriage, but now they're, they're seeing the truth and they're moving forward. There has been a lot of adversity here in that uh, challenging relationship. How your person is feeling for you is the 10 of cups. Hold on, let me just... Okay, the Ten of Cups. The Five of Wands and the Fool. Like, they know that other people could be interfering here with this Five of Wands, but they know that you both will get over that eventually. Like, they know that this interference could cause some conflict between the both of you, arguments, jealousy, competition any type of competitive energy, as in like, why you ex keep on calling, why this person is, keeps on reaching out, why they're still in your DM. And they know that you, eventually you will trust them because they are going to show you that they're going to put all the risk into this relationship. And even if it's going to come with a little bit of struggle, they're ready to have this clean slate with you, right? The, the world card is here. It makes me feel as if you've already known each other. Like this has been already a cycle of completion and starting over, completion and starting over. So uh, this might bring you a little bit of in uncertainty because this has been a connection that you know, stars and then fills and stars and closes out. So you may have been in this challenging energy and they are aware of it. Like they are aware that having your trust in this is going to take, um, take a while. The Four of Cups in the reverse is saying that whatever they rejected in the past, your offer, your love, your, your relationship, they want, to, um, they want to accept it now. Like they, want, they don't want to miss anything. Like I don't want to miss a thing is what I'm hearing from Aerosmith. And I don't want to miss a thing. I, don't, I can't even sing that song, but that's what I'm hearing. Don't want to miss a thing. Don't wanna miss it. Okay, no, I, I cannot recall that song. <laughs> um, what's the outside influence? Let's pull a little bit of an energy on that as well. 
yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This has been a long-term relationship that they have been in. It does seem to come to a complete. Uh, the tower is here saying, like, it's over. Yeah, they're walking away from it. Like, this is someone that has been walking away from a long-term commitment. There has been a lot of uh, fights, arguments. The Five of Swords is like the other person has been trying at all costs to keep this person stuck or staying in this connection, but it's not working anymore. Okay, it's not working. The other person has been quite aggressive or kind of like threatening them to, like, if they leave, they'll. I don't know, take the kids or whatever. Like, there has been some type of a threat, like, if you leave me, <laughs> don't you dare leaving me. Yeah. So what else? Well, what is this person going to do? They want to give you the world. Like, that's what I see here. They want to really, yeah, absolutely. Three of Cups to the King of Wands. They want to have this fresh new start where, where you can celebrate life, where you can travel and just feel a little bit more free to express your feelings and emotions. Um, they're also taking control over this third party. Okay, like that's what I'm getting through as well. Like they're being responsible, like even if they need to be in the setting with this third person, they are taking responsibility. They're holding back. They're not really, they're not allowing this other person to seduce them so if you know that this person could be around their ex due to children or due to anything like a duty they're not really getting mixed up with them right like they're taking their responsibility yeah that they're, they're they're so over this past person the queen of swords and the knight of wands reverse is they're like I don't even want to deal with your negativity, with your bullshit. Uh, this person keeps on screaming or yelling at them. That's what I'm seeing. Like being very cruel, being very dismissive of them. And they're not even concentrated on them. Like they're holding back for their dear life. What is going to happen next for you? Yeah, magician. So around this time, you might be... You might sometimes get into a negative mode with this uh, energy, obviously. Uh, feel a little bit triggered, but spirit is saying, like, keep your intentions pure. Keep on uh, thinking about the most positive thing and manifest that because you have the ability to manifest. You're very powerful, spirit is saying. You're very creative. You also have the ability to influence, so make sure that uh, positive influence on people. Yeah, the Ten of Wands wanted to come through. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. I mean, <clears throat> yes, you both have some burdens from the past that you may need to let go of. Obviously, it feels like you have known each other for a long time. You have a special bond. But due to all the circumstances, you may have picked up on more energies than you wanted to. And I feel like these energies are weighing you down and it's time for you to do a real cleansing and releasing in this. Like the, the past is still heavy, weighing heavily on you. A Ace of Wands here as well. So whatever you've missed out here in the past is going to be returning to you. For some of you, you might get pregnant. I do see the Ace of Wands. I, I see the Ace of Swords. There is some type of a new chapter that is opening up. And a Queen of Cups. It's also time for you to speak up from, from your heart. To, to be open and to really reveal what is in your heart space. To be honest and open about it. Only then you can kind of like bring things in balance. If you felt like you have been done wrong, tell this person as well, like, okay, here's where you kind of like effed up. If you felt like you went a little bit out of your own element here, you may also need to kind of like open up about it and come forward with some type of a truth or clarity. Again, the justice with the nine of wands, you're going to get, I'm, I'm hearing your wish fulfillment, but also like 
if this person had had done you wrong you're receiving everything back that was supposed to be yours all right it's like what goes around comes back around and what has been taken away from you with time it's being replaced by the universe right so maybe you're the one that is going to be receiving an apology i do strongly see that so there is going to be an open and honest heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. I hide behind material things. I feel like this has been in their past, like they allowed the this other person use them or abuse them for material things. And this is a this is something that they are now learning to rephrase in their life. I wish I had treated you better. See, this is in the past, so you, you've known each other for a long time, even though you weren't in a relationship. I wish I could take back my words. So someone here with this Ace of, War, Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups has been saying things out of emotions that may have been hurtful. And the Justice is here saying, like, it's time to kind of, like, make up or it's time to... Um, yeah, time to kind of, like, bring this back to balance I see an apology here self-love take time to heal look at that distorted energy so if you're going through this distorted energy right now and things are a little bit shaky you don't know if you need to use your head or your heart uh, your heart is saying, like, this is a soulmate, but your head is saying, like, this is a messy situation that they are in. Why am I waiting here? What am I doing here? It's saying that you need to focus on your heart and not your head and take your time to heal. Take your time apart to focus on yourself as this situation, like, both of you will come back together. This is a soulmate union. We have soulmates coming through twice, so this person is recognizing your... You as a soulmate here. And I feel like they're going to say this as well. Like the Ace of Swords. Maybe you will say it like, hey, I feel like you're a soulmate. Or we've known each other from a past life or from the past. I never experienced this intense connection before. I do feel a lot of intensity, yes. This isn't over between us. I'm coming back. So even if they have been here, we have, please forgive me. I know I messed up. I think they made a wrong decision here and they, they might be sorry for that. I want to take care of you the way you've always taken care of me. They feel like they now owe you some type of an apology in return. Like you've been there for them and now they want to be there for you or at least show up the way that you've been wanting to. And it's because they are aware that someone here on the outside is trying to enable them to come together with you. And with this Queen of Swords reversed, they don't trust this person. This person is very judgmental, could be very cruel. So yeah, that's kind of like what I have for you. I think that was like a wrapped up storyline. I hope that this made sense to you, my dear Scorpio. And thank you so much for being here. If you want to see the three months predictions, it's in the description box below, as well as the road opener ceremony that we're going to have in Tulum. Make sure that you sign up um, before it's too late. Okay, so see you soon. Take care. Ciao.